Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Colorado. Um, it is Friday. Not only is it Friday, it's Good Friday. So happy Good Friday, everybody. Got Easter, a nice Easter weekend here. Got the Masters on. Um, got a beautiful sunny day today. So anyways, uh, um, happy Easter, everybody, too. So um, got an exciting and beautiful 2023 London Air that I wanted to talk about. We just got this one in this past week. Um, step out of the frame here. Just a few specs to go over here real quick before we get rolling here. So um, this is a 4551 floor plan. The exterior colors of this, it's got the Cavalli graphics. It's a new exterior color, absolutely gorgeous. Um, we got a, it's 44 feet, 10 inches in overall length at ride height. We're 13 feet, four inches. Fresh water, we've got 105 gallons of fresh water, 80 gallons of gray water, 60 gallons black water, 150 gallons of fuel, and 15 gallons of DEF, the diesel exhaust fluid. Um, why don't we start on the, um, the driver's side of this. I'm gonna run the, the nose of this out. And as this is coming out, we've got a 12,500 kilowatt Cummins Onan generator. That is a hydraulic slide. So come in here, we've got 12,500 kilowatt Onan generator. You can see we've got the Hadley air horns that are hidden here. Um, it's also easy access to your windshield wiper fluid, which is gonna be down low. Um, you can see we've got the fuel filter on the generator is easy to get to. Also, that little red handle there is where the hot water line in the generator location is located when we get that option. What's nice about that is to spray all the bugs off of that after a long trip. Um, and then right above it, you've got the little air, um, an air uh, compressor access point. So you can tap into the air on this coach if you need to put air in other vehicle tires right easily access on the front of the coach and on the other side here is going to be where your hydraulics are located down low so the hydraulics on this one are going to operate your full wall slide it's also going to operate the nose of the coach that i just ran out and also the steps the entry steps are going to be a hydraulic steps and then with the nose of the coach going out, it's easy to get back here if you need to change any light bulbs on the headlamps. Speaking of those headlamps, new for 2023, uh, they have gone to the Silver Star Ultra headlight bulbs. They're LED bulbs um, for your high beam and low beam. Bring that back in. Also new for 2023, if you notice, the chrome exhaust tip coming back in it is no longer a chrome exhaust tip it's a stainless steel so you got stainless steel exhaust tips on the generator and also the um, oasis hydronic heat system um, as i close this door i forgot to mention this is where all the uh, wiring harnesses and things are located tied into the spartan chassis and it's also got a little squeegee that's mounted in here. Makes it easy to get all the bugs off of it after a long road trip. And then as you notice, when I close this door, it's not, it doesn't fight me as much anymore. They've got some new seals that make it easier to open and close all your compartment doors, new for 2023. Um, also, you've got six, you've got six of your, um, sensors so new for 23 you have blind spot detection with six sensors around the coach you've got them on the front if you just kind of pan to the back you can see the other two sensors I'll point them back I'll point them out as we get further to along to the back here we've got dual fuel fill on both sides for the 150 gallon tank uh, gallons of diesel fuel um, these are some LED docking lights down below here in this first compartment i've got the slides in just so it's going to be easier to access all these compartments and also when we go in we'll give you a shot of what that looks like with the slides in when you're on the road 
So new for 23, <clears throat> the, um, this has the option for the all electric um, with the two, you've got two lithium batteries and that's two 320 amp hour lithium batteries uh, with an additional 3000 watt inverter. You got two inverters there. What does that do for you? So if on the, on the inverter number one, you can turn that on and you can run the living room air conditioner. So you don't no longer have to fire up the generator to run your air conditioner. You can just have the inverter on, it's quieter, and the alternator is gonna keep these batteries charged. If you notice there's space next to these lithium batteries, so if, if an owner would like to add an additional 320 amp hour lithium battery, uh, the dealer can do that, and that's gonna give you 50% more power if you, should, if you should desire having a little bit more power. All right, this is the other side of the pass-through storage. We've got the LED lights in there that are on, kind of give you. We've got a full pass-through tray that comes all the way out on both sides. These trays will hold up to a thousand pounds. And this bay, we've got the Chinook Oasis hydronic heating system. So the Oasis will heat your hot water. It also has two electric elements. If you're plugged in, you can use the electric elements to heat your hot water and to heat the coach. The most efficient heat source is gonna be the diesel boiler for longer showers, um, continuous hot water, you'll want the boiler on. And in this bay, we've got the transfer switch back in here. You do have an extra 30 amp plug. If you've got a, a trailer you wanna plug into and have, exit, have extra power to the trailer, you do have a 30 amp plug there. You'll notice the 50 amp power cord is on a reel. You walk it out and you push a button, which is located actually right here. I'll walk this out. If I walk this out the full 50 feet, I can just pop that back in place close my door makes life a lot easier when you're hooking up and and then unhooking and when it comes time to run it in especially on a cold 20 degree day freezing day you've got the button here push that that'll run everything in next bay down we've got the dump station so in here you're gonna have outdoor shower you've got your city water similar to the 50 amp power cord you walk it out push a button to reel it in the same little um, so, so it will disc uh, the Thetford RV SantaCon back in the back that gray housing is going to be for the macerator pump so that all your solids will get grinded up and lick a little water uphill if needed. We got a whole house water filtration system, um, gray, gray rents and black rents, and some low point drains, everything's labeled. Also you have this display here um, to check on your holding tanks. You also have a feature in system where you can tilt so new for 2023 you've got a tilt feature so if you wanted to put more air in the right side of the coach it'll tilt the coach so all the water is running downhill running to the left side it's a new feature for 23 as well here's one of our sensors and then coming around to the back uh, on the uh i missed uh, I, I failed to mention some um some weights on your axles. So we're at the drive axle. Um, all London Airs are built on the Spartan chassis uh, for 2023. That front is an independent front suspension. It's also a 20,000 pound axle. You also have the drive axle here is going to be 20,000 pounds as well. Tag axle is 14,000 pound rating. And that tag will turn 
at 20 miles an hour or, or less, the tag axle will turn as needed. It's got what they call ultra steer. Cuts back on tire scrub, um, <clears throat> and you can dump the air on this tag and distribute the weight to the drive axle so you don't get so much tire scrub on the actual tag axle itself. Um, in this compartment here, place to store your gloves, hoses, chemicals, things like that, anything associated to the dump station area. And we got a diesel exhaust fluid. So this is a 15 gallon reservoir, it's on the other side. A lot of times when you pull through your fill stations, the duff is on the driver's side to fill it. So they put the uh, fill station now on the driver's side. We've got a side radiator. And you see another one of our sensors. So one of the three on the driver's side. Okay, on the back side of the coach, we have a 20,000 pound hitch. It's pre-wired for air. If you have an air braking system on your stacker trailer, or you have Air Force One on your tow vehicle, um, any kind of air system, it already has it plumbed here seven-way brake controller system here as well um, and then on this side we've got the Voyager plug if you've got a camera on the actual trailer itself you can toggle between the coach cameras or your trailer cameras and then on the back side here let me set this down set that there let me open this up here So there's what pushes the coach. You got 605 horsepower, Cummins ISX. It's got 1,950 pound-foot of torque. And as you can see, it's being a side radiator. It gives you easy access to your belts, alternators, uh, engine oil, and here's another here's another airline here. If you have the airline on the front of the coach, you have another access point on the rear of the coach. Um, it's also your air filter is easy and easy to get to here. The filter minder reset is located here. So when this does raise up, it's time to change the, the air filter on the coach. <clears throat> and coming down this side, we've got two chassis batteries, easy access to your air dryer, your fuel filter, water separator is going to be located there. And then your disconnect switch here for on, on the chassis batteries. In this compartment, that's your diesel exhaust fluid. That's the 15 gallon reservoir for the DEF. So this location behind this pegboard and a little shelving, this is nice for extra storage, but this is your 105 gallon fresh water tank behind that. You'll notice too in all these doors, we've got the wiring, so all, the, all your compartment doors you can lock and unlock using the entry, the keypad at the front of the coach, or they do come with a couple of key files where you can lock and unlock them there as well. Nope, that one didn't want to cooperate. Nope. So in this tray, you've got a three-quarter tray. So this will, it'll slide all the way back. The Oasis is on the other side there. So this just gives you a little bit of more storage in this area. This is an option this one came with. Um, it's also where some of your control panels are located for silver leaf, which we'll talk about when we get inside. Also, uh, some of your bedroom slide controls, high definition camera system controls are in there. The central, the central vac, the filter replacement cartridge location is gonna be located here. All right, so then we're, now we're on the opposite side of that full pass-through storage tray. 
and then the pass through storage. This did not get a tray. If one wanted to add an extra tray, you could. And this has a refrigerator freezer combo on the slide tray. You could have one side be a freezer and the other side be the refrigerator and separate the two. Great for tailgating. If you do any kind of tailgating, that's, that's a great option to have. So um, here's the air hose that we talked about. This air hose for hooking up to the front and the rear. Now with the slides in right now, uh, something to point out. So Numar actually does a flush slide. So you notice it doesn't overlap. So when they're all the way in, they're nice and tight. They're, they do use a cogwheel system whenever you're pulling the slides in on the electric slides. And of course, when we run the full wall slide, that's gonna be a HWH, a hydraulic slide, but all the slides on a Numar are gonna be flush. So when they're all the way tight, those gaskets are nice and tight all the way around this squared slide out so it doesn't let any air in any kind of dust or debris or anything can get in. So it's nice and tight, makes it quieter going down the road. <clears throat> and then up here, we've got a little hidden TV. So it does have an out so outside entertainment package. And this will actually pull out. And you can tilt it, get the glare off of it. And it does come with the Bose little sound bar. And all the TV, so this is a 43 inch LED smart TV. And then um, we've got the awnings out right now. So it's kind of back up a little bit, Kyle. We've got, you can see how this has a nice pitch. So it gives you nice coverage, almost the whole length of the RV. Um, I've got them on, the LED lights run the whole length of these awnings. Obviously in the daytime it's hard to see that, but it will give you some real nice lighting at night. And actually underneath these slide outs are also the same LED lights that run the length of the slide. Let's go on in and take a look at the floor plan. So as we're coming in, you'll notice you've got the, the keyless entry pad there, the keypad. I'm going to walk to the back just to kind of show you all how simple that was to walk to the back. If I've got access, if I need to get to my refrigerator, grab a cold beverage or something out of the fridge, I can get to it. If I need to get to the half bath, I can still enter my half bath, no problem with the slides in. I'm going to go back up front now and I'm going to run the slides. I'm sneak by here, Co. All right, so I'm gonna run the hydraulic slide first. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start it up so I got full power going to my slides. All right, so we got it running there and the slide controls are located up front for the driver and passenger front slides. If you want to get a shot of that going out. So this first slide going out is the HWH hydraulic slide. Um, we are running these slides out on the suspension. Something's a question we, a lot of us get, should you level it first before you run the slides? Actually, no. Uh, Numar builds these on the suspension. So they're not built on the jacks. So these slides, you just want to make sure that you have the either your plugged in these days they want the engine on so it gives you full power off the 12 volt system when you're operating the slide <clears throat> and then this this slide here is going to be ran off of a cog slide so it's electric <clears throat> now as these slides are it, it's nice and warm and toasty in here today so the um the floor heat was set at full blast overnight, so it's, it is nice and warm in here, even though it's a nice day. So um, uh, 
this has a uh, electric heat beneath the floor tile which really heats it up very well i'm gonna come back here to the back get one more slide out so you can see all this opened up so as this slide is going out you'll notice the wood the wood color in this is the bermuda glazed maple with a high gloss finish actually looks real nice with the um uh, the, they've got the same interior package as the exterior and get this out here and i'll grab my grab my notes i gotta grab my cheat cheat notes because i haven't memorized everything yet so let me grab that here so just to go over the interior so cavalli decor is the is the decor package which gives you this color leather and then the you saw the bedspread in the back the wall boarding all that's going to be part of the cavalli package along with the cavalli graphics which is the exterior of this coach <clears throat> i mentioned this is a 45 51 floor plan so this this is a bath and a half um, the theater seats have become real popular lately so this does have the theater seats across from the theater seats we've got a fold and tumble um, Newmar's term is the dormy sofa so I'm going to take these pillows off show you how that works so these are just velcroed on move these out of the way and then there's going to be a release down below if you get a shot see this little release here so this is just basically what releases from the locked position now i can fold it all the way out you'll notice the tag here this is all villa all london airs are going to have villa furniture and you're on the these are cushioned for your queen size bed real simple easy to operate you also notice back behind here we've got some seat belts So you have some additional seat belts there for your passengers if you need to secure them in. All right, come back down with that. You'll notice the TV that's in the up position. So these have uh, the fit, this floor plane comes with a 55 inch smart TV. You got an optional 43 inch TV front overhead. And then in this compartment here is going to be where your um, your silver leaf panel is located and you'll notice it is larger so it's got a larger screen than last year <clears throat> this year has got a 10 inch monitor and they've integrated if you notice like the lights on the far right here so i can go into my lights now and i can operate some different lights i can go into my <clears throat> shade controls so you can operate shades from here or from the wall switches in the back in the coach. Door locks. So I want to lock the entry door or the cargo doors. Oops, go back home. And then of course you've got um, on the home screen, you can read where your fresh water, your black water, your gray water percentage levels are at, your house and your chassis battery um, levels are at. And and your alternating current power. You can see now there's the two inverters. Um, I've got them both on. So with inverter one in the on position, simply go into my climate features. I'm gonna go into the living room and make sure this is on. I'm gonna turn this down. See if I can get that to go down. Let's just set it at 70 for now. See if I can get that to kick on. But that'll operate the, um, the living room air conditioner off of inverter one. If inverter two is gonna give you power to all the other electrical elements or items that are hardwired to inverter two, <clears throat> being like TVs, um, awnings, convection microwave oven, your Whirlpool, all electric residential refrigerator, things like that, and select outlets throughout the coach. All right, he's back over here. I'll come check out the kitchen area. So we've got, well, actually, let's start over here. So we got 
We've got overhead storage above the TV area. And you'll notice the thickness in the header of this slide room. So this does have very well insulated um, side walls, ceiling, even your subfloor. If you, I didn't show you the thickness, but on the subfloor down in the basements, you got two inches of insulation. Um, so that that whole basement's insulated. If you do any kind of, this is perfect for a full-time RVer. If you're wanting to hit the road and you're traveling in the winter months. Um, and it's cold out, this is, you have water on board, just make sure your, your Oasis is operating. And that keeps your basement area heated as well as your, all your water lines are all heated too. Won't work the uh, air conditioners as hard in the summertime. Uh, doesn't work the furnace as hard in the wintertime. With the, the thick sidewalls that Newmar offers. Um, very, again, just something to point out, these are very well insulated. All right, so we got a little, little island extension here with four full uh, pullouts. You got the soft close on all your drawers. And then the induction cooktop is going to be hidden here. On the flip side of these, you've got some cutting boards. This will come out. If you want to take this outdoors and cook outside, you can. Simply unplug it here, take it outside to cook with. And it does make cleanup easy too, just being able to remove all that to clean inside of there. And there's no lips or anything, so all this is all flush. So it gives you lots of good workspace. And a split stainless steel sink. With a resident, residential faucet. Then you'll notice on the walls throughout the coach, you've got these, you just tap on them. So your light controls are in here. The home screen, I can operate my shades from here. My fan controls are going to be also located in here. The TV lift up and down is going to be in here. My water pump controls are going to be all located in here as well. A little drawer that pulls out here. Adjustable shelving. You notice when I'm closing these cabinet doors too, they're soft close all your cabinet doors. Convection microwave oven. And then we do have an optional dishwasher. This one came with. And then we have the Euro, Euro dinette. So it's a Euro booth with two folding chairs and two leaves. So this pulls out, this will pop down here. There's two leaves, you stay right there. So I'm underneath the bed, we got a couple of leaves that'll go in place there. There's actually a couple of folding chairs under the bed as well. So you can have more company with you. Oops, put that all the way up before I go in with it. That magnet's not grabbing. I'll have to get that turned in and get that fixed. Okay, and then we talked about the theater seating. These are super comfortable. If you just want to lounge here, kick back, watch a movie, watch a ball game. Very comfortable. Heck, you could even sleep here if you wanted to. You do have some storage here. Place to keep all your remotes, magazines, books, things like that you want to keep down below. And you got cup holders, they will light up. I think they even change colors. Set the mood with the different colors in the cup holders there. And then each one of your chairs, where I'm bringing it back, you've got a USB port here on both sides. <clears throat> if you notice, if you're sitting here, we've got another one of these panels here. So if you tap on that, so that's for the light controls, your fans. Uh, the TV up and down switch, and then all your shade controls are going to be located in there as well. Okay, coming around to the back, we've got the all electric Whirlpool refrigerator. So it's 18.7 cubic foot of refrigerator with the ice maker down below here, 
and a water dispenser in the door. And this gives you a nice big pantry. You got push to release pantry drawers. And then down below, you got a place to store your baking pans. And if you notice when I open these, these you've got the automatic lights that come on as you open and close. All right, and then behind me here, we've got the half bath. So in here, I'll step in there. I want to show you a few things. So let's, uh, just something to point out. So if, if I'm on the road, my slides are in and I've got a power failure and I need to get to my breakers and my fuses on the house side. Um, I don't have to run the slides out or I don't have to get to get underneath the bed or anything. If you come all the way in here, so you can see where it's easy to get to my breakers, all the house breakers are nicely labeled and then more breakers located here, some fuse controls. Just something to point out. Oh, you can just flush the toilet. <laughs> it's got the sensors on. That's all right. It's winterized. We're all good. And then um, you'll notice it's got an electrical plug inside here. Nice lit mirror. And then you have some good countertop space for the half bath as well. And then down below is where your central vac is located. So we'll flip that up. Kind of lights up. If you're sleeping up in here. That's where that turns that on and off at. And you do have a pocket door to close off the master bedroom from the living area. Um, and then you can see we've got um, great storage in it. So if you do have the chairs and the, and the actual leaves removed, you got some great storage under the bed. King size bed. Um, there is another panel, touch panel to operate your lights and whatnot above your head when you're laying in bed. And then the overhead cabinets here, I always like to point out, Newmore gives you an electrical outlet inside this with these little port, these places below here where you can run if you've got a CPAP machine, or maybe you just want to run a longer electrical cord to charge another device. You could use that for that as well. Okay, and then stepping back to the back in the shower area. So this shower, this shower is 50 by 34. It's the largest shower they make in the, in the uh, London Air product. Gives you a nice big shower. Uh, you notice you got the overhead. You've got a free, uh, little shower head nozzle there. Um, it does, if you dry camp, this little, this little nozzle or handle here, you can turn to recirculate the water. So it doesn't waste water when you're waiting for it to warm up. And across from the shower, we've got a stackable washer and dryer. And down below here, a little extra storage. You notice some good storage here for the bathroom. Full extension drawer glides. Four good sized drawers there. And you got some great storage underneath the double vanity sink here. And let me turn this on here. So I'm going to go into the vanity lights, accent lights, mirror lights. You can get, to get, a, get a good idea on the how much lighting you get in the bathroom here. All right, and then in the back here, we've got some cubbies for storage, for shoes, hanging clothes. And then on the right side, we've got some adjustable shelves. And then we got a little bit of medicine cabinet storage here. There is, if you notice, a little electrical outlet inside there. You want to keep something charged and hidden out of the way.
And then um, something else that Newmar does is, to this day is the escape door. So if I need to get out, if there's an emergency, I can open this door and pull this panel off right here. There's my telescoping ladder. Drop that down, makes it easy to escape if I need to get out of here. You never know with all the crazy people in this world, somebody comes through the front door, you can get out quickly. <laughs> all right, um, let's go up to the front. Oh, I missed this area. Sorry, this is in front of the bed, so we kind of went this way. So we've got, this is a new design too that, um, for 2023. Gives you a little window ledge, a couple of windows. Um, it's also where your location is for HDMI hookups, for satellite receivers, whatnot, anything that's game systems that are gonna be going in here. Um, your silver leaf controls, just like I was kind of showing you on the 10 inch monitor up front, you got another one in the bedroom. They do communicate off of one another. Um, Full extension drawer glides on all these drawers for the bedroom area. You got six, I believe these all, these two, one of those folded out. So you got six nice big deep drawers, and then you have some four little small ones. And then this TV will pull out and tilt. We got a little hidden storage behind here. We got an adjustable shelf here, and then the safe. So safe's located here. Um, kind of see how much depth you get in the safe. Kind of like a safe you get in a in a, a hotel or resort somewhere that you're staying at, but um, nice good place to keep all your valuables hidden and out of the way. Okay, let's go up front and I'll show you some of the operations on the chassis side. All right, so again, we're in a six, 605 Cummins ISX um, Spartan chassis. Um, we've got the new 10 inch silver leaf monitor we talked about. Also new for 2023, um, in the actual menu here, you have um, Apple CarPlay. So that's also part of this package here. If you, hook, if you wanted to um, uh, plug in your, your Apple phone, it will display it like the automotive industry has these days. Uh, also new for 2023, let me turn this on. So it's got push to start, that's not new for 2023, but um, the, uh, the, the comfort drive dial is gonna be located, if you get a shot underneath here on the actual steering wheel, you can see it says effort up and down. So now you can actually, just with your fingertips, control the steering effort, which is your comfort drive dial. So let me get this down. If you notice in the dash cluster, when I'm operating the steering effort, I can bring it all the way down to a setting one or all the way up to a setting five. And what that's doing, it's putting resistance in the steering wheel. So it makes it a lot lighter turn, the lower the number, a little bit more stiffer of a turn it, um, at the higher numbers, probably at a three and a half to four setting is a comfortable setting when you're dri driving in, in good conditions. If it's real windy out, it will help counter for, if you get any strong side winds, it monitors your driving habits. If you're constantly fighting a strong side wind, it fights it for you. So it cuts back on fatigue on long road trips. But really a nice feature where they're putting that little switch easy to get to um, that Spartan's done on the Spartan chassis. Also new for 2023 is they call it the valid da the dash. So all, the whole dash setting is easy to navigate through. I just use simply use the arrows on the steering wheel to go into the first, the first thing I see right here is air leveling. So if I wanna go into air leveling, I'm just gonna hit okay. I'm gonna, I can use the air. This has both air and hydraulic leveling system on it. Um, if I wanna use the air leveling, I have to go in, I have to have the engine running. 
and I'm going to go into auto level. I'm just going to hit OK, and it's going to automatically level the coach. Or if I want to high ride, low ride, this different settings in the air system. I'm going to use the back button to get into the air leveling. There's a brightness control. There's a message center. If there's any check engine lights or anything that the uh, the, the transmission or anything is throwing a code. It's going to give you a it's going to give you a message in here and tell you what's going on with it. Um, the settings menu is here. Trip. More info that you can go into and toggle through the different accelerator position, engine percentage load, tire pressure monitoring systems located here as well. And then adaptive cruise control, you can set that to a short distance. You can disable it. There's disabled, long, medium, or short. And let's see, let me go back out of this here. You just have to hit the OK button when you want to set it for what you're, what you're, um, uh, what you like it set at. I believe the short, I believe the short means a three, you're three seconds from the vehicle in front of you. The medium's like 3.3 seconds, and the long's like 3.6 seconds. Don't quote me to that, but I believe that's approximately what that's what that is set at. <clears throat> but no, just uh, the new Valid Dash is real easy to navigate through using these buttons here. I just wanted to point that out. Um, also. Uh, below here on the steering wheel, you can see I've got a volume control. I've got my flashers, radio. I can change the radio station. You can see where it's changing over here. If I want to, if I want to hold it down and do a seek, and then volume controls here, or it's actually on the actual steering wheel itself. And then my uh, windshield wiper controls are on this side. Um, if I'm paired to with my phone, I've got a an uh, uh, answer button here like our automotives have these days on the steering wheel. So kind of neat, some neat features that the Spartans integrated into the RV industry. Um, some shade controls, I've got, if I use this button here, if you get over a shot over to the right hand side there, you can see on the passenger side, I can use this button to lower that shade. And the next button over is gonna be for the night shade. And then I actually have the solar shade going down as well and then I have the solar shade on the driver's side uh, in in the actual the monitors here if I go into my menu you can see I've got media center SMX Bluetooth uh, mobile eye uh, the, the navigation new uh, this is the new nav and go system that Numar is using so it does have automatic updates on the nav and go maps. <clears throat> and then it's taking a little bit too long to boot up. Um, then on your camera system, if I want to switch to a 360 camera view, right now I'm just seeing the rear of the coach. If I want to hit this button here, that's going to give me kind of a bird's eye view plus the rear of the coach. And then of course there's all these different camera features that you can toggle through. If you've got all the shades down and you hear something outside at night, you can come over here and turn your camera system on and kind of toggle through the different cameras around the coach. There's the front side of the coach, back to the bird's eye view. And then we've got the generator on off switch here, some courtesy lights, entry locks, um, also your uh, hydronic heat system. So if the Oasis hydronic heat is on, then you have, um, excuse me, you have the front fan high and low. So that pushes hair, air off the base here, off of the Oasis. Um, and then you have, of course, your, your standard chassis heat as well, chassis heat and air conditioning. Uh, then you've got some fan controls the back behind here to help with defrost. Uh, such a large window, sometimes you need a little bit of extra help. You can turn the overhead fans on as well as the defrost fans down low. And then over on this side, we've got 
the hydraulic leveling system so it does have auto leveling or you can manually control the jacks also the six-speed allison so this has a six-speed allison 4000 series um, it, it it will tow up to 20,000 pounds um, and then here's your tag dump so I always usually keep it in the forward position and auto if I go to reverse this this tag will the, it'll automatically dump the air on the tag axle when you're backing it up and it will center the uh, center that axle as well so you don't get any tire scrub <clears throat> and then your brake controller on off switch is there and they got a low a high and a medium so and then on this side here we've got your power window these are all dual pane windows Auto traction control override switch, light controls, just a lot of your normal switches here that have to do with the your, your lights, the air horn on and off. Uh, then this switch here is for your house battery boost or your chassis battery boost. If you have, if you're running a low chassis batteries, you can merge the house with the chassis to try to crank um, if you crank the generator so you can charge that system up, or vice versa if you're um, if you need to merge that, I mean, I said that backwards, but um, if you need to merge them to crank the engine, same thing. And then it has a built-in brake controller here, the Kurt Spectrum brake control system, a uh, little charge mat for your wireless capability phones these days. If you don't have the wireless type of a charging phone, you still have USB ports down below. Probably can't see them, but kind of where my hand is underneath the, underneath the armrest here. And then the 12 volt outlet is down below here as well. Um, I mentioned mobile eye. Um, I know I was kind of briefly mentioned it to you earlier, but the mobile eye is this panel right here in the front windshield. So these these do at when you I think you get up to speeds of 20 miles per hour, I believe, uh, the mobile eye will find the lane you're in and it'll it, it warns you if you if if I believe it buzzes your your driver's seat here it buzzes the right or the left side letting you know if you're drifting out of your lane so it does have the mobile eye it also ha I mentioned adaptive cruise so if you if car cuts in front of you it's going to set set you to their speed if they slow down if they get out of the way then you're going to go back to the speed you were at uh, we, we mentioned um, the blind spot detection it's got six of those sensors on the outside so if you're if there's any vehicles left or right of you when you're traveling it's going to display it in the side view mirrors just like our normal automotives do have today um let's see if i missed anything here new Vela dash tilt feature we talked about the tilt feature um i think we covered a lot of what i could think of oh i get this question a lot and i'm gonna go ahead and answer it um the wheelbase so the wheelbase on this is 292 inches plus a 48 inch tag um we've got a 20,000 pound tow rating we talked about also the axle ratio on this is 4.3 and yep so this is stock number 5n 2-2-1-6-9-6. my name is grant russell if you have if you have any interest in this coach uh please feel free to to reach out i'd be happy to get you more information on it if i missed anything um, if there's anything else on the lot I can help with, please feel free to reach out. Best way to reach me is probably my cell phone. should be being displayed on the bottom of the page now. It's at 720-539-4711. Uh, uh, you can text me, call me, leave a message. I'll call you back. Uh, or shoot me an email. The email address is grussell, so it's G-R-U-S-S-E-L-L, -S -S -E at transwest.com. Folks, it's been a pleasure doing a little walk around on this beautiful London air. Um, hope you have a great weekend. Happy Easter. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.